Jay Reynolds Reynolds and what's your what's your company's name? What's your shop's it's name? The Sound Garage. Sound Garage. So, the, so there's kind of two entities. There's the Sound Garage, which is the shop, repairs, servicing, maintenance and um, customization, all sorts of stuff like that. Yep. And then there is the Jordan Reynolds Custom Guitars, which is very much its own specific its own thing. Yeah. Yep. So yep. that's um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I set I set them up as two different things because I really wanted the sound garage to be more than just custom guitars mm-hmm. because that my background's in repairing and I love doing stuff like that. You know, I definitely building buildings is is what I enjoy the most. So, absolutely. are you a, a, a luthier? Um, depends who you ask. I don't really refer to myself as a luthier because a luthier, like if you if you if you ask people in the luthier crowd that's someone who makes violins and and stuff like that okay. or it's come from making lutes yeah um so, hence the name hence the name Lutia. Uh, uh, man so yeah. that making a lute must have been a fucking fair like common job back in the day if they gave oh, it its own yeah, name yeah yeah well guitars are quite recent um yeah you know. i don't know a single lute player though neither do i damn and i'm apparently a luthier so <laughs> you think it would <laughs> yeah but um I don't know, you know a couple of people play some other weird ass similar instruments but yeah lutes are lutes are very uncommon yeah like, there's lots of other weird ass instruments weird out fucking there. wooden instruments and yeah, string yeah. instruments and yeah, stuff yeah. like that heaps of crazy stuff but not really lutes so that yeah so I, I refer to myself as a guitar maker yep and that's also because I don't really think of myself as this kind of master craftsman who like luthiers are they're these kind of people who go into tiny little rooms and and pull out tiny chisels and perform magic and do curses on bits of timber and and these amazing (laughs) instruments that have this awe come out of them um i'm i'm not that kind of guy so what would you describe your uh your version of this craft guitar maker guitar maker yeah and um guy who cuts shit up and hits stuff and yep <laughs> gets angry and no <laughs> no not that. <laughs> but but yeah I'm, i don't know I, I don't i just i think of myself as more just a dude who makes stuff yep. yep like anyone who knows me anyone who's been in my workshop and messaged me just had any kind of interaction with me generally learns pretty quick that i'm i'm pretty chilled i'm 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 open about it i'm not <laughs> There's a lot of old boys Not in the industry that are- Not pretentious calling yourself yeah, a luthier yeah, and exactly. going, well, you know, this actually took me yeah. 57 hours just yeah. to make this small amount of fucking yeah, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And they're super protective about their techniques and- Yeah. And, and it's very, very smoke and mirrors and, and, and very much, you know, they're, they're very tight about yeah. how they talk to who so about who, what. who taught you to make guitars? Um, the person who taught me to make guitars was me. Yep. But- that, that that's I did an apprenticeship um, which was about six and a half years in all up that was that was for another guitar repair in town who um, but that was that was really in guitar repair and yep. it was I mean I, I went into it going I want to be a guitar maker yeah but I spent that time repairing guitars doing restos and you know building a couple along the way but i wasn't really a guitar maker at that point in time yeah I, I knew it all individually yeah it's a bit like um you know being a mechanic and and being an engineer you can fix anything on 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 a car you yep. can rebuild any component and fabricate anything but you've never built a, a car from scratch yeah yeah you know it, yep. it was a bit like that so um I kind of think of myself in a, in a way as kind of being self-taught as a builder, mm-hmm. but I definitely did do an apprenticeship in the industry as a so, but, and, which was which is really be- beneficial, you know. Um, oh hell yeah, yeah! Like, apprenticeships are amazing. It, it was a great thing, the yep. best thing ever happened to me. But what were you doing before that? School, school. Yeah. How so, were you at school? Um, I was alright, but I was I was a bit preoccupied with with just trying to be a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're going to be preoccupied with something, you may as well do that. Yeah, yeah. 